know you look at these visuals you look at what has happened uh, particularly in the two week run up to the pran pratishtha event today you look at what ayodhya has been witnessing what the entire country has been witnessing you look at what ayodhya is today some people are a little bit nervous about it some people are worried some people are worried about our secular values they are worried that india has become a hindu rashtra what do you want to say to them yaar jisko worry karna hai na wo kisi cheez ke liye bhi worry karega na so i was like you know uh, there seems to be no uh, worry other than in uh, in the minds of people who want to see negativity i didn't see anything uh, which sense which i mean you're in the city too you're in ayodhya too um you've been here for longer than i have there is no sense of uh, anxiety or nervousness or jitteriness anywhere in this place ayodhya never had in fact even in uh, during the uh, the riots which happened people kept saying out here you know in the 90s when the, the uh, during the car sevak movement and rest everybody kept saying ye bahar se log aake yahan pe danga machate hain dangai hain yahan pe to hum shanti se rehte hain and things like that so you know ayodhya has a has a history of not being a a violent a prone violence prone state and as far as um uh, the temple is concerned people are just happy about it so you know those who want to crib and complain will find some reason or the other the the point is that as as a traditional uh, culture uh, ayodhya uh, welcomes it and as far as the people are concerned not just of ayodhya but of the country i think the prime minister said it and so did yogi adityanath that the the, the it's not just hindu society which was ready for it the country itself was ready for it and we have uh, the swa has come out you know the the uh, the the self confidence or the the sense of being uh, an indian has come to the forefront where we are not embarrassed about our culture about our traditions about who we are historically and part of that is the civilizational link to whether it is law drama whether it is our secularism whether it is our constitution our democratic credentials we are not embarrassed about any of this and they run parallel to each other they intersect between each other they run that is the best part about being an indian that we have several identities within one identity so you know me being a hindu or the other person being a muslim or the third person being a sikh it doesn't matter we have one civilizational ethos regardless of which path we uh, practice that is why the word dharma itself is not just religion it has more connotations i don't want to sound like a religious scholar out here but just as a journalist speaking to so many religious scholars one gets the impression uh, that you know it is something that binds us all as indians and not just one particular religion or one particular sect Yeah I mean uh, Swati Goyal is joining us uh, she is of course uh, a very prominent writer for Sarajya magazine and reporter uh, Swati you were there at the event I'm sure it was a huge occasion yes. for you just before I ask you about your experience and about what you felt was the message uh, about the message from the prime minister I should mention that you know there is there are world media and press that are looking for stories right now about how muslims are in fear uh this is something we've seen of course over the last 10 years particularly and how because of the ram temple construction and because this is coming up in ayodhya it is some sort of a marker of hindu uh a nationalism or hindutva etc and very aggressive form of it and it is making our minorities nervous they've been looking for stories of you know muslims going away from india because of this on that note can i just say the chief litigant in this case yes Mr. exactly mr ansari is from ayodhya he has lived all his life in ayodhya he continues to live in ayodhya and has never felt unsafe and has never felt the need to go anywhere i think that in itself should tell the larger global community and the public of what it means to be the chief litigator against ram temple in ayodhya yes. where which yes. is the birthplace of lord ram and never feeling any fear for your life that is what is important yes. as far as the india story and ayodhya story is concerned swati coming to you first up share a little bit about your experience and we are talking about the speech that the prime minister gave how he talked about ram for rashtra or ram yes. se rashtra what did you make of his message yes shivani first of all i hope to meet you here in ayodhya 
since you are also here and i only for like 30 minutes came to the hotel just to charge my phone and to do some stuff this i is the do second not time want we are not meeting face to face swati while both of us but we will swati this is the second time we are not meeting face to face while both of us have been in ayodhya Absolutely, that's because there is so much to cover in Ayodhya. There is so many people to talk to, and you know it very well. Uh, see, here uh, in Ayodhya, mein, ha, I was there at the event the whole time, and I can tell you the energy, the bhakti that people have. It's just see, it's the biggest celebration I have seen in my life. It's like the biggest mela. It's the biggest, uh, you know, like a f festival of joy I have seen in my life. Thousands of, I think. People into tens of thousands of people were standing outside Ram Mandir, knowing very well that they cannot enter today. But they just were were, were standing there. And you know, when we were all coming out with our prasad and with our with our uh, basically just coming out of the whole event, they were like doing Jai Ram. Some of us, some of us were even touching our feet. It was so emotional. And you know, then I saw a group of sardars. They they were doing Bhangra and uh, they they felt they showered. Uh, Flower petals on everyone, including me. It was just so much fun. I mean, see, that is the thing. And uh, uh, this was always this this building of a temple was always always going to be a very joyous moment for people because of their bhakti for Ram, because of the fact that they never identified with somebody called Babar, you know, with an invader named Babar, and they never identified with whatever he built. It was see again. I'm repeating one thing uh, which I don't think has been said enough times on television. Ayodhya people are not against mosques. There are a lot of mosques in Ayodhya. They're all there, you know. People were fighting only for one structure, which they thought that there was, was their Janmabhumi and it was very wrongly encroached upon. It was very wrongly demolished and then a temple was built over it. So it's, they're not against mosques. In fact, Hanuman Gari Temple, you know, uh, the Mahant of the Hanuman Gari Temple has uh, helped rebuild a mosque called Alam, Alam Kir Mosque. You should read about it. People should read about it. So it was always about this, you know, very deep desire people had for this uh, birthplace of Ram. They wanted to see a temple there. And today the devotion is unmatched. I mean, you you are here and you know it very well. It's just, you know, the, the entire stress from, from the Ram Janbhumi to my hotel, it's filled with people on the streets. They're like distributing uh, tea, they're distributing sweets, they're just flower, uh, showering pet petals on people or they're just doing Jai Shri Ram and they're... Uh, I mean, and they, see, they're going to stand here for like 11 or 12 p.m. today in the night. And they're just going to, you know, just partake in the celebration. And they're, and, and uh, I'm sure there will be a lot of crowd of people tomorrow. You know, you have to be really small. And this is a message. I'm sorry, I'm giving this message to some people. But you have to be really small in your heart if you're going to begrudge uh, the people, the faithfuls enjoying at least today. And I know people have been complaining on social media through the day. Have the heart to at least allow people one day to enjoy.